Game two, they're going to FD. I agree with this counter pick. Yeah, definitely. Just more reasonable edges and like just a wider stage. Yeah. I think that like, I don't know if this is necessarily a strategy they could implement at this point, but I feel like it could be beneficial for them to try to swarm Camillo or Weon X um, and sort of leave Shroomed on the outside. Just because she gets a little bit slower, but she's still pretty fast like in terms of dash speed. So it's not like they can really leave her behind. Like if it was to say like a Fox Ganon or a Fox Peach or Fox Jake or something, they could really focus on the Fox. But in this scenario, it's uh, it's really difficult because the moment they draw their attention onto one person, you got Shroom just like up tilting them from the back into all these guaranteed combo setups. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, Shroom is very good at picking up on things like that. He's a very adaptable player in general. He just played um, a Sheridan tournament yesterday. Yeah. He lost 3 2 to Ryan Ford in uh, winners finals. And then like six one number something in grants. Yeah. Oh yeah, he switched. Well, he, I think he switched to Marth too. That like. No, he went Marth in winners. Oh, uh, he like he lost as Marth. Yeah, same matchup the whole time. Oh wow, I thought it was. People were telling me that it was Sheik. He only went Sheik one match. Oh, okay. All right. I, I just wasn't I'm, feeling I'm, it. I think it was one match at most two. I, well, I don't I, think it was. I, I feel like I feel like assuming they he plays both characters at around the same level like. Players in our region, in general, are stronger against Sheik than they are against yeah, Marth because they have more the exposure to it. Yeah, exactly. All right, we on X. Wow, that he delayed for so long there, and it paid off really well. Oh man, Rainex is covering the distance behind Ryan so strong. Like just Rainex's thing is still his movement game. That's the one thing that hasn't changed over time. Oh yeah, he's so good at moving around. Extremely intimidating. Yeah, you never know when he's gonna attack you. It looks like he's like a rabid dog, but he's very controlled in how he does it. Oh, I know, it's organized chaos. Like, yeah. Great angle. Ryan's sort of the opposite, where he's like, Ryan has like the highest hit percent of anyone. If you like, after the match, where you check like, yeah, the percentage of hits to connect yeah. versus thrown out, he has such a high, he like doesn't attack you if it's not going to hit. That's like... That is a very good way to play. Like, that's an extremely good philosophy to have. Yeah. Yeah, because like, if you can have an over 50% hit ratio, like, you're probably destroying the other person, like, yeah. realistically. But Shroom is the one I'm most impressed with right now, because, like, he almost never plays any of these players. These three play each other all the time with their foxes. Yeah, for real. Shroom is doing a ton of work. He's like, oh never. wow, somebody chat. Uh, Bernard stole Ryan's stock there, right <laughs> as he died. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be a jab, but up till I mean, Bernard just saw that stock and he wanted it. It's mine. It's gonna. I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. Where are they gonna go next? Yeah, that. Uh, I don't know, I, I like to believe, but, uh, oh, I was hoping that would reverse. Yeah, I think they were. Yeah, simple. they're just going to keep it simple. No need to swag too hard at this point in the tournament. That was, uh, was close, but even with the separation they got from the wider stage. Yeah, they did a little better there, though. Yeah. Like, it might, that might be worth a run back, honestly. It might be. They could also try Dreamland and make it even more extreme. But yeah. I, I don't know if that's a good idea, though, because Shroom just, like, he has no problems with moving around on the high platforms. Yeah, I almost feel like Pokemon might be a good choice. It could be, Just yeah. because, like, they might get lucky with the transformation or um, just use the platforms a little bit better. No top platforms to retreat to. Oh, we might have a character swap. Oh, oh yeah. Are we going to... Oh, no? or not. Okay. He just, like, he wanted to think about it. Yeah, they're running it back. The Marth would work pretty well too, I think. Yeah, definitely. I just I feel like Marth, you need to in teams at least, you need to exhibit a greater degree of control to play Marth in teams. Because if you're just swinging wild, like you're gonna cause a lot of harm to your teammate. Yeah, it's really unintuitive. Wow, look at that coverage by Weon X. Oh. Wow, okay. Weon X is zipping him up right now. He probably should have lost the stock for going that low, but it's yeah. hard to Space that far down with the camera messed up like that? Well, it looks like Bernard or Rainex was gonna be able to like get him on the way down, but I don't think he was really paying attention to his positioning. Yeah. Oh, God. they're all on top of each other. Right? Yeah, that was a cluster something. Yeah, a cluster blank. <laughs> what?
what is, I can't see what's going on. I just heard like six illusions go off in the space of like eight seconds. Can you guys press less buttons for a second? Yeah. <laughs> we just need we just need one more fox. We need Dewan to play fox, and then it would be perfect. You, Dewan's fox. I've like never seen that. Bear. Wow. Oh, good edge grab. Good shine. That was such a good team edge guard. Yeah. Oh my god, but we on X. Gets oh. him back on, and then yeah. Bernard puts him back on with an unfortunate shine that Dewan DI'd in. That's the best one, like. There's a great team's play, and then it gets countered by another great team's play. Oh, I know. Like, You're like, how could it get any better? Let me show you, okay? They both so, yeah, they the both way. wanted that so bad. <laughs> okay. How are they going to finish this, though? He's just going to delay until Dewan can get there. Yeah. Oh, then we on X made a mistake, and now uh, the Foxes from Ontario have the lead. For probably the first time this set. Yeah, definitely. Like, it was looking close last set at certain points, but yeah, they haven't really had the lead. Uh, it's not really in their favor anymore because it's really low percentage on uh, both Shroomed and Weon X. Wow, grabs him out of that illusion. Yeah, good timing. Definitely the most chaotic match so far, too. Yeah, they're both kind of just swinging. No one is using shield, like, at all. They're just attacking. I know, that's true. Eh? You, don't, you haven't seen much shield at all in this game. Too low. We on X, like, I'm gonna blame the camera for that too. Yeah, Good that was a little bit sketchy. By Rainex. Whoa. Okay. So this is definitely Rainex and Ryan Ford's game to lose now. But yeah, uh, it's possible though at these percents. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like they're about to start something though. Oh. Kicks together. That's the thing. Like, yeah. If he can just clear one stock really quickly, then uh, somebody else might be forced to take a stock. Yeah. I still, like, even with the, the uh, actual icons, I don't know who's who, but... <laughs> I know who's who in terms of the actual foxes on the screen, but I don't know who's in what control report. Right. Um, oh, Rain X is... Ryan uh, is player three. Yeah, okay. So I know Rain X is the silver controller there. Yeah. Nope. Dreamland? Is he going to switch to Marth for Dreamland? No. I don't see why. It's usually the other way around. Yeah, really, that wouldn't really make sense, but... Maybe just trying to kill a little bit of momentum. It's interesting that a uh, red team went here. I really thought blue team would end up counterpicking this. Yeah. Well, what, like, I don't know, like, if, if you go over, like, the other stage options, like, like what else would they really go for, though, you think? Uh, well, not Yoshi's. No, exactly. Like, double fox on Yoshi's, like, that'd be scary. Yeah, there's no, like, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I feel like it's more of, like, a playstyle counter pick, if anything. Like, if they're gonna be making a stage decision, it'll just be based off personal preference. Yep. Yeah, as it is in a matchup like this, there isn't a lot of, like, stage factor in. It's just more of the players. I just want to see Pokemon. I'm a, I'm a Pokemon Stadium fanboy, even though I know that that's, like... That's not a popular opinion in the community anymore, but whatever, man. I don't, I don't care. Soon, I want to try bringing back some of the older stages. Yeah, I really like New City or something. Yeah, Prince Star. Yeah. Prince Star is so whack, though. They're all kind of whack. That's why they're. That's banned. why they're banned. But That's why they're not. Just, in are they too whack? Anymore. Are they like? Is it worth it to get more stages? Well, I don't know. Though I feel like the moment you start looking at something like that and and banning Pokemon Stadium, it's like really is Pokemon Stadium really more whack than those stages? And I'm gonna say no. It's, yeah, it's very debatable. Matchup dependent too. If no one's Fox, you can't infinite shine spike on the. I can shine into like, the tree or whatever. Yeah, yeah. infinite shine. Oh wow! Oh, wow! Wow! What a save! And to go troop stock. That was like a big turnaround. Yeah, really. We on X or uh, Rain X and Ryan Ford are finding their rhythm now. Yeah, this is why I I just thought they would be better on this stage. Yeah, really. And then we on X just got gimped there. Now they have a uh, three stock lead in total. Great shortened by uh, by Bernard. <laughs> Tell them for so long. Yeah. I almost feel like he was waiting long enough there that he could have said something to him, like, out of game. Been like, get him, Camillo. Bear, bear. Ooh. 
Drops a bit too low. Yeah, that was a quick. Phoenix loses another stock. This is the turning point right now. The next, uh, from now till 5:15 on the timer. Every match has a like really clear turning point like that. Yeah, it's this like, is this is about a pretty decided. important moment. And really, it's gonna come down to how quickly can Rain X and Ryan Ford take that last stock. Like now, it's looking really bad for Red Team. Yeah. Largely because of that surprise up smash right there. Yeah. Well, and and having uh, Shroom to only get three stocks in the game is really problematic for them too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a culmination of the whole game. But well, and I just I feel like, like a line where it's like, okay, now it's over. I feel like although they can edge guard Sheik like really well as the two of them, it's just it's much easier to take a stock from Fox like really quickly. Too. Whereas with Sheik, like it'll end up being like more of a sequence that you take the stock from her with. But. Uh, you know, they're hanging on pretty well. Yeah, they're bringing it back. Oh, Shroom, I don't even know what yeah, happened. Shroom made a bit of a mistake there. Some point, they're going to they're gonna have to bring it to game five. Good short. This is doable, though. It's tough, but... Oh, if you wanted that. Okay, someone's getting the edge. There you yeah, go, simple. Yeah. Once he's off stage, it's not really doable. But... No. It would really it would take a flub from one of them to make that yeah. happen. If you, if you got them separated for a second, got a quick up smash, you know, yeah. could have made something work. I've seen crazier comebacks. Nope, wasn't in the cards. Now it's two two. That's that's that was looking pretty like. I know it's looking one sided and after then after the uh, first two games, yeah. They're yeah. Really bring it back. Ryan and Rainex have made a good uh, adaptation to this matchup. I feel like stages is gonna be really important here though. Yeah. I really think like I, I think honestly they were to an extent doing what I was suggesting, which is <laughs> focusing Camillo and like forcing him to take stocks from uh, from Shroom. Yeah. Definitely the smartest strategy here. Often when I'm, um, so for those who didn't know, I'm like Leon X's more common teammate. Often what we do with him is like, if we find that they're going after him a lot in one game, we'll just go to like Dreamland and he'll be like, okay, I'll just go to the top platform. Right, and he'll just run around and yeah. while they're chasing him, you can land Varesis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I just be the aggressor in stages like this. Wow, look at that. They uh, get two stocks apiece really fast. quickly off the start. With barely any damage in, like 25% on uh, Rainx only. And they're continuing to put it together. Yeah, right now, uh, Ryan and Rainx have a decisive lead. The other thing is, um, Ryan as a player is really strong on this stage, I think. Yeah, like he does well with a lot of room to move around. Yeah, exactly. Well, and lots of recovery options too that are yeah. harder to cover than with any other stage. His defensive options are kind of tricky that way. It's like hard to guess right. <laughs> However, still just with the fact that there's We on X playing Fox and the other team, like he could very quickly put the stock uh, count back in uh, back even or in their favor. But so far, they're playing really solid, keeping it together. Is yeah. that going to do it? No, not quite. Good DI by Shroom. Ooh, good shine. But Leon X protecting his partner on the edge. The most important spot to protect his partner. Oh, definitely. Especially when you have the option and you can tell that the... Oh, that's a really uh, unfortunate mistake by that. Leon. Sometimes I just like stop and just hear the sounds of this game. Oh, I know. Just out of nowhere, it's like... That the sound game sounds happens. are so good. The best is Zelda's death screen. Yeah, it's pretty legit. Oh. I just like the sound of Falco dying because it makes me happy. Wow, uh, great back air to finish the stock from Leon. Leon is on his or er, his uh, winner's stock here. Yeah, it's unfortunate because like um, this stage kind of lets blue team build up a slow lead, and now the red team needs to get quick gimps. Like they can't. Yeah, it's gonna make it a lot harder because they're if they're smart, they're gonna stay in the middle, right? Yeah, I really think they should have gone to like. Ooh, that was a bit of a flood by Rainex there. Else. Leon drops a lot lower than he expected. Still very doable though. And yeah, they are bringing it back slowly but surely. Well, that doesn't help. Ooh, and then there you go. Weon takes Shroom's last stock. Is that 135%? It's been Weon, the last one alive, like every time. 
Oh, I know. And as you were saying, like, it's really strange that it was, this was, um, even after what happened in the last game, they chose to run it back to this stage. Like, yeah. they must have been really confident about their strategy for it, but it's not working out really. And yep. there we go, yeah. simple. Wow, what a turnaround. Yeah, really. Great Goes set. From, yeah, there we go, hugging <laughs> it out, the boys. He's like, yes. Good job, Ryan. Yeah. That so, turnaround, man. Yeah, it looks good. like, are they going straight into winner's final?